Excuse me. Good evening, town board members. Uh, my name is Neil Lewis. I'm the executive director of the Sustainability Institute at Malloy College. Um, I speak today in regards to the carbon monoxide detector law that's under consideration. Um, you will recall that I've been um, uh, speaking on this issue for uh, some time now. We had worked with Suffolk County, for example, to declare the month of January carbon, uh, uh, carbon monoxide hazard awareness month. And um, so that was back in January. That was actually something that was decided months before that. So this is an issue that we've been discussing for months before the tragedy that occurred uh, on February 22nd, where um, Stephen Nelson, the uh, manager at uh, uh, the restaurant there of Legal Seafood, uh, passed away, and 28 other people were also rushed to the hospital. So in short, you've heard my comments before. We think that you could have gone a lot further with this law. There are now laws proposed um, or have recently been adopted in a number of the towns on Long Island. Um, Brookhaven has adopted a law that covers all buildings. Um, so why this law is being limited to certain buildings um, doesn't seem to fit with the logic of what we know about carbon monoxide. It doesn't make a distinction between a place of public assembly or a place of assembly or an office building or a home. Uh, carbon monoxide is a threat in any building where there is a combustion source. So we believe that this law should apply to all buildings and we don't understand the rationale um, that the town is pursuing in doing such a limited um, piece of legislation. We also um, know that uh, the fire marshal in Nassau County has introduced very comprehensive legislation I just got a copy of today. So other places are going much further, so I don't understand the limitations in what's being done here. Um, similarly, we encourage the town to go a step further and to require digital readouts for the carbon monoxide detectors. The reason for this is that it's only with the benefit of a digital readout that you can find out when there is a low level of carbon monoxide in a office or home that you're in. And those low levels can make people sick. They can make people very sick. And we believe, for example, that the um, Stephen Nelson, the store manager that died at um, Legal Seafood, was sick for many weeks before the tragedy. So if you have the digital readout, if doctors are well informed, these low level uh, carbon monoxide exposures can be discovered early. The cause of the problem can be discovered before you get to the level that could uh, kill somebody. Um, we know that uh, the town of Hempstead passed the law, which we, passed, we posted on our uh, s website that we created for this, which does include the digital readout. So in both of those areas, the coverage of the law and the buildings covered, um, the town could have gone further. Thank you, Neil.